Hi guys, it's Justine. Today I am vlogging, but before I start today's vlog, I wanted to let you know that I have a giveaway going on on my Instagram with, um, it's in collaboration with Shop Pink Blush. If you've never heard of it before, it's like a maternity um, clothing boutique, but they also have women's sizes. It's not just maternity clothes, but I feel like their maternity clothes are what they're like most known for. I am wearing this um, like plaid shirt. It ties at the bottom. It's super, super cute and great for fall time. So I am wearing that from them today. So go to my Instagram and find the picture that I am wearing this shirt in and click it and follow the instructions on how to enter and you can win a gift card to Shop Pink Blush. So I just wanted to include that right there. My Instagram is at Blondie Brand. Same way it's spelled um, here on YouTube just without the space between the Blondie and brand. <sighs> so I'm out of breath from saying all that. But if you want to enter that giveaway, go um, to my Instagram. So now I wanted to show you baby girl's crib. My husband just put this together last night and I am obsessed with it. My, um, my two older kids, they, when my son was born, we got him a crib off Craigslist for super cheap. And then he had it for a really long time because it, um, transferred into a toddler bed and then when my daughter was born we gave it to her she never got to use it as a toddler bed because then i got pregnant again and also um, we were planning on using that crib for this baby but then when we removed the mattress because the mattress was all torn up because she liked to jump on the bed so we were planning on just replacing the mattress but then when we took the mattress off we realized that the wire underneath was like so dented and some of the wood like the wood like right here where the bolts are in was like cracked and stuff so we decided we needed a new crib so this one is brand new we do plan on having a fourth baby eventually so we're gonna save this for baby number four fingers crossed that this baby doesn't um jump like crazy and completely ruin it like my daughter did to the old crib but oh i'm just so obsessed with it it's so pretty it's so much nicer than the crib we had for the other kids um and yeah, so, and then we also got the new mattress today. If you need a crib mattress, go to Walmart. They are only $40. Um, and that's like the cheapest that I've been able to find a crib mattress is $40. And then I'm going to wash these, but I got these crib sheets also at Walmart. Let's come over here in the sun so you can see better. And one has unicorns and one has hearts. And we still have some old crib mattresses from actually, we have some, or not crib mattresses, crib mattress sheets for both when my son was a baby and when my daughter was a baby but um babies go through mattress sheets like so quickly I swear with both my other kids I was changing their sheets like every day to every other day because they would either spit up on them or have an explosive diaper on them or something so we got this two pack from Walmart and then I think I'm actually going to show you all of the newborn stuff we have because I'm not sure if we should buy more. So let me um, get the newborn stuff out of her drawers and I'll show you. Okay, so these are all the things that are like strictly newborn sizes. And with my other kids, we had so many newborn items. Actually, let me open a window. There, that's a little better. Um, but with our other kids, we had so many newborn clothes that like they hardly wore any of it before they outgrew it all and so i'm trying not to buy too much stuff this time um but now i'm like well how much stuff do we need and um i'm probably gonna film a video about it soon but this baby is like really small she's measuring very small um so like i just really don't know how much newborn stuff we need but this is one outfit um it says happy to be me it comes with little footy pants and a hat then here's another like full outfit it comes with a shirt pants and um, a onesie and then we have this little little sister sleeper and then we have these two packs and this one comes with two sleepers and five onesies i definitely want to get some more pants she only has two pairs of newborn pants and um it's she's gonna be born in november so it's gonna be pretty chilly and then i also got these newborn socks um and i just don't know is that enough that's like 
three sleepers and then five, six, seven, like eight onesies and two pants total. I just, I don't know. I probably will end up needing to get some more, but I think what I'm going to do is get more packs like this um, because they're just like a better value overall because I think these were like seven bucks and you get like seven bucks for two sleepers, seven bucks for five onesies. I just don't, I do not know. I, all I remember is with my other two kids is that they had so many newborn clothes and then they hardly wore any of them because they were just they grew out of them so so fast and then I got these you'll see these I think I'm gonna include these in like a haul sometime soon I'm not sure if I should do like an entire baby haul but um like I said with this outfit this is going to be her going home outfit I think just because I think it's just so sweet and I think even though it comes with this hat I think I want to put her in this white hat this pink one looks like it'll match too so I but I just like these bow hats like better especially for like a going home outfit um this one is sweet too though but like it's not bad but I like the bow outfits I also got these um receiving blankets we used these I'm gonna need more than these for sure because with both my other kids these were like a must have we use them for swaddling we use them as burp cloths we use them like as changing table covers like we literally use these for everything so I'm gonna need some more of these and then these are just some bows that were my daughter's my daughter has like a big box that I put all of her bows and like hair accessories in so I just went through and found the stuff that um is like newborn sized and um so that way I could just put it in the baby's room and there were some things that were could fit a newborn but they also still fit my daughter like they're just super stretchy things and they're things that my daughter still wears pretty regularly so I'm gonna keep those ones just in her box for now I love these like neutral ones especially since she's gonna be a November baby I think that these are just like super nice for fall I hope the like brightness and then this one I mentioned this a long time ago but this I ordered when I was pregnant with my daughter I ordered it off eBay, it was like a dollar, and it literally took a year to come in. Like, it got lost in the mail or something, and so she's never worn it because it's like a newborn size, and I ordered it like three months before she was born, and it was only supposed to take like three to four weeks to come in because it was like um, shit from China. It took a year to come in, and I totally forgot about it, and then one day it showed up in the mail. So I kept it all these years, and now we can't use it for baby, and this is also going to be super 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 sweet so i just let me know what you guys think about the um newborn sizes let me know what you think i need more of because i just really i don't want to overdo it this time but as of right now i feel like she needs more stuff in newborn sizes and like i said we have like a lot more clothes for her but i feel like i've just been focusing more on the bigger sizes and i really need to get my button gear and get her some more newborn stuff and i don't know how i'm gonna do i'm getting on the floor because i want to get like stuff right now this room baby's room is basically like a storage room because I um have been doing most of my filming in front of her dresser oh I'm out of breath I've been doing most of my filming in front of her dresser as of recently so if you've been watching all my sit down videos like this is where I've been filming is in her room but <laughs> like we have the high chair here we have one of those little high chairs that you put like one of these ones that you just put on a regular chair here um in the closet we have like a basket just filled with baby blankets and like her boppy and stuff and then since this is my filming room um not my filming room but it's where i've been filming lately i have a ton of stuff i'm gonna sit down in this chair um i have a ton of like just piles like i have a pile of fall stuff for like a fall like home home goods not the store home goods but like um, it has like candles and decor and household stuff and I have another pile of like fall clothes that I want to do a haul but like I'm still waiting for items to come in the mail so I can do those two hauls and then I also have some like stuff that was sent to me um, from brands and like PR and stuff so right now this room is just like a clusterfuck of stuff but let me show you what else I got for baby okay I moved the camera so you could um 
like see me better with better lighting and stuff and i might as well just turn this vlog into a baby haul because i'm showing you like a bunch of the stuff we got but i did walmart grocery pickup and i got a couple things um just things to start stocking up but i got these parents choice bottles um these are the eight oh no they're nine fluid ounces. I thought they were eight fluid ounces when I got them for my daughter. But I love these because I use the Medela pump. I've used it with my two other kids. I plan on using it for this baby as well. Um, and these Parents' Choice bottles hook up to the Medela pump. So if you if your Medela pump bottles, like the bottles that come with the pump, are dirty or if they're in your fridge, um, keeping milk cold or something, you can use these bottles, screw them into the pump, and... Um, use them instead so that's why I love these parents choice bottles um, my kids never had like my kids were never super picky with bottles neither of them really were um, so they're just the bottles that I use anyways and then I got this bottle cleaner which also has like a little thing right here to clean the nipple with um, this was just the cheapest bottle cleaner that Walmart had um, my son actually he saw this in the grocery bag and he was like why did you get a tiny toilet brush and I thought that was really funny because it's a bottle cleaner but got this and then I got one other thing I got some binkies from Walmart but first I got this from Amazon I was actually looking for Wubbinubs because both my other kids loved their Wubbinub pacifiers and I love them too because both of my kids when they would spit out their pacifiers they'd go flying across the room but with these the um if they'd spit it out their pacifier it would stay either on their chest or right by their face or wherever this was but this is actually a nookums brand and i got this one this time because you can change out the pacifier it comes with this pacifier i don't know if you can see it i don't want to open this bag up quite yet um, but it comes with that pacifier and then if your baby prefers a pacifier my kids actually both prefer to these kinds um my son was less picky than my daughter but both of my kids liked these like not necessarily the advent brand but like this kind of shaped pacifier they both preferred that kind um which are, is that that's the kind that is also on the wubba nub but um, it just makes it nice because these nookums you can change out. So if your baby doesn't prefer these kinds of pacifiers, um, then you can put it on a different kind of pacifier. So we're going to try this one out this time. And then I also mentioned this in a previous video, but I got this at Target. It's Itsy Ritzy. And my son picked it out at Target. And um, when he saw it, he was like, Mommy, we should get this. For the baby because she's sweet like a cupcake and that's just so precious so um she has this this is her first teether and we have a bunch of like toys and teethers and stuff for my other kids that are hand-me-downs but this is just like the new stuff that we've gotten for her so that is it for this little impromptu baby haul i don't know if i'm going to do like a big big baby haul i just i have no idea let me know what you guys think because i mean you've already seen a bunch of the stuff that we've already purchased i mean now and i've also shown some and like some other vlogs and stuff but um if you want to see like a big giant um baby haul just let me know i really i just don't i feel like that's a lot of stuff to haul between like the new stuff we have and the hand-me-downs it's just like a lot of stuff so I don't know maybe i'll just keep showing you stuff the new stuff we buy in vlogs like this but um that is it for now um i'm either gonna do one more grocery pickup either tomorrow or saturday so maybe i'll take you along with me then um this is this all this stuff is like from walmart grocery pickup that we got like two weeks ago um and then we went to walmart today literally just for a crib mattress but i still need to get groceries so maybe i'll take you with me tomorrow or saturday so that's for now I'll see you guys in a bit